Ah, uh, games. You know, we all have that special game we cherish from our childhood. The one that we would kill countless amount of hours just trying to beat and find everything. Something I think games these days completely lack. But then there's some games that you remember because they scarred you. Games that are just so outrageous. I mean, you really don't have words for them. And you know what, those are the games that really leave an impact on you in the end of the day. Those are the games that are too weird to explain. You know, I was a big fan of Robocop too back in the days, and you know, the whole series in general. I mean, I loved everything about it. And I remember one Christmas I got Robocop 2 in my stocking. Now, there's one thing you gotta understand about this game. I mean, other than the fact that it was a bad game, I didn't really realize that until now. Uh, it's one of those games that didn't really age gracefully. And as you can see, you can even get molested by people on the streets, and we all know Robocop wouldn't put up with that. But uh, besides the fact that you can just jump over everybody and just kind of beat the game like that, uh, there's just one part of this game that just really, really, really scarred me as a child. You know, think about this. It's midnight, you have a little light shut off, and you're happy with your brand new game, and you're thinking, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat this thing. Then you come to find out that this game has the most scariest game over screen in the history of video games. And you know what, let me go ahead and show you how that looks right now. And let me show you the reason why I didn't sleep for a couple of days after I saw this as a child. You know, I can't even describe this in words. Seriously, this really scared the hell out of me. Wayne's World. You know, there's really not much to say about this game other than it's probably the worst game I've played in a long time. Even as a child, I was really disappointed that I wasted money on this. And I think I got it as a bargain too when I was about 13 years old or so. But um, there's really not much to say about this game because you can already see it's bad. Everything about it is just horrible. But there's one thing I did want to mention in this game that's just, it's awesome. This game has the best death scene I've ever seen in a video game. Let me go ahead and show it to you. And like I said, pure awesomeness. Alright, to attempt to describe Pit Fighter is a task so thankless, I can only describe it in a few words. It's a game where you fight in a raunchy bad porn film. I'll go ahead and let you hear and see what's going on, and you can go ahead and decide that for yourself. So how do you feel after seeing that? You kind of feel a little dirty, huh? Well, it only gets worse from here. Like you can see, I mean, even the first boss is uh, some dude in what looks to be like a gimp mask. And you know you're playing a horrible game when one of your attacks consists of hip thrusting and what looks like molesting you on the floor. Seriously, I didn't know what to think as a child when I got this game. All I knew is that it was wrong and I should stop playing it immediately. And there you have it guys, that was my segment on the weirdest games I have ever played. And the sad thing about it is I actually owned every single one of those games you just saw at some point in my life. And um, like I said, it's those games that really leave an impression on you. This is just part one. I'm hoping about doing part two, but um, if you guys would like to help host it, or if you have any recommendations, I'd love to hear them. Just go ahead and drop me a PM, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Like always, this is Wolf5674. Thanks for watching, guys.